Um, hello, my name is Ty Lipscomb. Um, welcome to my elevator project in my ginormous elevator room. Very nice. Anyway, um, my research question is, how can adolescents located in Jacksonville around the age of 13 and 19 who don't have access to gym equipment during the um, COVID-19 quarantine find feasible ways to build lean muscle mass? Now, um, I think that my pro project statement is that, you know, due to the recent quarantines, like I said, many adolescents are getting significantly less physical activity than recommended. Um, you know, the 30 days, uh, I mean, 30 minutes a day. Um, yeah, this is from my experience, but um, yeah. I want to find feasible ways for teenagers to be more physically active during quarantine, specifically ways to build lean muscle mass that doesn't require going to the gym or using fancy equipment or tools. Um, since many gyms are out of service and um, teens in general just seem to have trouble going to gyms by themselves because, you know, not being allowed to or whatever. Um, that's subjective. But I think my study is significant because it's very relevant. It's, you know, looking at stuff that's going on right now in the world, you know, the COVID-19 quarantine. We've never seen anything like this. So the research is very new. Um, and I also think it's very interesting. There, it's, it's, a, it's a question that comes up for a lot of teens, um, myself included, which is why I'm doing this project. Um, I also think that um, it's important to mention that physical activity is one of the most important things for a developing um, teenager. Um, you know, you need your 30 days, uh, 30 minutes a day. Otherwise, you could be putting yourself in jeopardy. So I think it makes sense that a question involving physical activity would be very important. Now, I have not completely decided what my method is going to be, but I will most likely conduct some sort of study slash test that has groups of people doing certain workouts. I think a important definition would be lean muscle mass, which is basically the specifically the amount of muscle on a body. So basically you take the total amount of weight in the body, you subtract everything that's not like just muscle. So you subtract fat, bones, water weight, etc. Um, just to find the exact amount of muscle. Um, I have made some pretty big assumptions with my project. Um, one being that I have assumed that there are teams who actively want to build muscle mass and be active. Um, I know myself and my friends, um, we like to be active and we want to have a healthy body, but I can't say that there are other teams out there who also want that. So that's a pretty big assumption. And I also can't say that all teens or even many teens are not meeting physical activity um, goals. Um, from my experience and my friends' experiences, um, we're getting much less physical activity, less than we probably should be getting. Um, but I can't say that everyone else isn't going out to the gym and playing sports every day, even though I'm pretty sure it's yeah, that way. Um, three sources that I thought were really good was one by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, or the NCBI. And this source basically me um, is a, about measuring the amount of lean muscle mass in a body using two different exercise methods, and they compare two different groups. And um, I think that is a very good method that I could look into, but it's very helpful to actually learn how they did it so I could re recreate that in my own project. And another one by the same um, source, NCBI, is about the effects of exercise on a teen brain as it's developing. You know, there's many cognitive and emotional boosts as well as physical. Um, overall explains that exercise is a very good thing. And then my last important source would be by the multiple Multidisciplinary Digital Publishing Institute or the MDPI, which is a source about different um, workouts slash uh, physical activities that you can do at home because their question is very similar to mine. And um, basically it's just, um, compares different um, exercises and their effectiveness um, in a test group, which I think is very similar to my question. I could use as a good basis. Um, anyway, thank you for listening to my elevator video, and I will see you later. Adios. That's my elevator, by the way.